Well, hello everybody and welcome to our exciting World Explorer Promotion Virtual Trade Show. Welcome uh, to those of you down in our stores and to the many of you who are watching uh, virtually as well. We have reached a very special presenter. We have Andrea from Windstar Cruises, one of our favorite partners, and we're so glad that she can join us and talk about her amazing brand. This is a cruise line that you may not have heard a lot about, but let me tell you, it's a very special one. So I'm gonna turn it over to you. Walk us through your amazing brand. Sean, as always, I can't thank you enough. It is such a delight and pleasure to always work with you. You are so tremendously supportive. And to all the listeners out there, a very, very warm welcome. I've worked with Sean for many years, but the most important thing to know is that working with a partner like Expedia Cruises, because they are preferred with us, we give Expedia Cruises special amenities, special perks that they will always be able to pass on to you. So without further ado, I would like to share with you how Windstar Cruises is truly 180 degrees from ordinary. My name again is Andrea Mendelson. I'm the regional sales manager responsible for Canada. And as I said, it's a delight for me to be here with you all. And of course, working with Sean and his team at Expedia Cruises. Windstar Cruises, I wish it was a household name. And I hope for many of you, it soon will be once you experience us, once you tell your friends about Windstar Cruises. We are a small ship cruise line. And we have so many different unique experiences because of that unique selling point. Being small, not having thousands of people on our ships, not having to jostle for space. That is what Windstar is all about. And I'm gonna share with you again, part of that 180 degrees from ordinary that is truly gonna be different to all the other experiences that you've had on all the other cruises you've had. In our small fleet, we have six little ships. On the right hand side of your screen, you're gonna see a beautiful power yacht. That is one of our star class ships. We've got three ships like that. And on the left hand side of your screen, you're gonna see one of our beautiful sailing ships, one of our wind class ships. We have three sailing ships in our fleet and none of them take more than 342 guests. So when we talk about small ship experience, it's that intimate ship experience. It's kind of like if you have done any river cruises, it's that small ship river cruise experience where we're able to take you to small little unique ports without thousands and thousands of people. I'm going to share with you a short little video, which I hope will encapsulate some of the experiences that I want you to know about on Windstar, and then I'm going to come back and talk with you. So enjoy, everybody. There are those places on Earth we call hidden gems, because big cruise ships can't find them. Places that few will see, but the ones who do will remember forever. Where we use our navigational skills to steer clear of the expected, these are the places only a Windstar cruise can take you. So unlike the big cruise ships that only go to big cruise places, Windstar takes you further and gets you closer to the tucked away ports and pristine isles only itineraries designed for a smaller ship can reach. You'll chart your own course. Whether you're getting lost in the past, catching up with local culture, or going off on your own adventure, you'll always arrive back to the ship with plenty of stories to share. So why not try a dish you can't pronounce? Find a secluded spot to sunbathe. Bring home an ancient recipe as a souvenir. You'll visit all five senses before you hit the first port on the official cruise line of the James Beard Foundation with exceptional locally sourced dishes prepared by world-class chefs. From dining al fresco to coffee with the captain, you'll enjoy welcoming highly personal service that's been named the best on the seas. Because at Windstar, we believe the smaller the ship, the grander the journey for travel that's 180 degrees from ordinary. Welcome aboard. I hope for many of you, and I'm sure uh, even if you have traveled on Windstar, that just really touched a nerve and that so many of you are dying to hear more about this wonderful experience. So what is part of that 180 degrees? And we believe because we're small, we're able to take you, our guests, in a completely different direction. And what do we mean by that? Because we're small, we can go to the little ports, to the little bays, to the little motus, 
off the beaten path places that the big ships simply can't get to. And if we do go to any of the same ports that the big ships go to, invariably they're going to be anchored way out to sea and guests are going to have to be tended in for a long while. Whereas with Windstar Cruises, we are able to dock right in port or very close to it. So we're going to take you to these in, you, really unique, as I say, off the beaten path, captivating places. Sometimes places that you probably think, I didn't even think a ship could go there. Those are the ports of call that we take you to, these different places, which is truly going to create memories for you that are going to last a lifetime. In many, many instances, we go beyond the reach of those other big ships. As an example, in Alaska, when we go right up close and personal to these incredible glaciers that are calving right in front of you, no other ships in sight, and we're able to lower our water sports platform and launch our two-person kayak expeditions or our zodiac expeditions. This is part of that 180 degrees from ordinary difference. And what we want to achieve at Windstar is to give our guests that immersive experience in the different cultures and the different places that we take you to. And it extends beyond the ship to the sightseeing experience and through our shore excursions where we get you involved in the different cultures and what they do, that is part of that 180 degrees from ordinary. For us, we want you to see these different things and experience them, but in the fullest sense of the word, not just get to a destination and check it off your bucket list or take a picture to prove that you were there or buy a souvenir that you might not even remember where it's from and then have something to drink or eat and then have to stand in line to get back on the ship because you're sailing off. Because we're not a big ship, we don't have to herd hundreds or even thousands of people at a time. So very often we can get into port early in the morning. Our guests can have this leisurely experience in these unique destinations and we don't have to rush. There's no frenetic urgency to get you quickly from one place to the next. And as I mentioned before, going to these amazing places, we're truly going to give you some memories that are going to hopefully last a lifetime. I love this beautiful, iconic picture of Windstar, which again, to me, encapsulates some of the beautiful places that we go to. In the background, you're going to see a picture of one of our beautiful wind class ships or one of our sailing ships. That is our Windsurf, our biggest sailing ship with 342 guests. Just think about it. How many people on this ship could fit into one of those huge big ships that you, that you see out there? And in the foreground, one of our recently re refurbished and renovated star class ships, which I'm going to talk to you about in a lot more detail. What is that 180 degrees from ordinary again? Well, there might be an assumption or a presumption that this is a very formal, let me say pretentious kind of an ex experience. On the contrary, with Windstar, it is very informal. It is very casual. We talk about traveling in understated elegance. And what does that mean? Dinner time. Dress code is country club casual. So gentlemen, no jackets and ties for you. Ladies, no formal gowns for us. You can go in dark jeans with a top, men you can wear khakis and a short sleeve golf shirt. It is casual and that is what we want. No making reservations during meal times in our main dining room. Just think of being out in port, having the most glorious day and thinking, oh, now I've got to get off what I'm, get off this island or get away from this port dash back to the ship, change, get into my formal evening wear and be sitting down to eat at a certain time. Not so with Windstar. If you come and eat any time during our meal hours, we can accommodate you if you want a table for two. If you've met new friends, you want a table for six or eight, we can do that for you. That is what this casual environment is all about. And you may have had such a wonderful day doing, seeing the sights, doing some shopping, doing maybe some water sports activities that you're hungry, but you don't feel like getting dressed to go to the dining room. We can serve you in your, in your suite or in your stateroom. If you order during the main amphora, which is the main dining room hours, we will serve you course by course as if you're sitting in the dining room. And the most important thing to know about this is that we provide 24 seven room service at no additional cost to you. Everything is complimentary. So again, at Windstar, what are we all about? It's those unrushed, relaxed days where you do your thing. Besides the fact that it's been COVID and we've all been locked up for so long, 
everybody deserves a relaxing vacation. Nobody has to get up early in the morning and go and put a towel on the deck chair to save it. Nobody has to be first in line for the tender. This is all about your time, your vacation that you so richly deserve. And all those unregimented days. Again, as I say, wake up at your leisure if you don't have a shore excursion booked early in the morning. Have a leisurely breakfast. Probably we dock right in port so you can step on and off the ship at your leisure. Go into the port, discover the sites, do some shopping, as I've said, and then come back and take advantage of what we offer on the ship for you. And of course, because we're small, there's that freedom from crowds. So you're not going to stand in line. You're not going to jostle for space. We want you to feel as if you're traveling on your own private yacht. We don't restrict you from going anywhere. And in point of fact, we get to know you and get to know your preferences on day two. How important does that make you feel? All our guests are VIPs to us. So on day two, all the servers, everybody knows your name. They know your preferences. And if that doesn't make you feel important, I don't know what it what does. And you may be wondering, how is that possible? We have a ratio of crew to guest, 1 to 1.5. And whilst I know there's no such thing as half a person, I want you to think of the exemplary, phenomenal service that we provide to you with those kind of statistics. You might be thinking, well, this is sounding fabulous, but I wonder what the food is like. Nobody is ever going to stand and say, well, our food is average or our food is mediocre. We're all going to tell you that our food is excellent and fantastic. But I can substantiate that because we have an exclusive partnership with the James Beard Foundation. They're an organization that recognizes top chefs, top sommeliers. They come and train our chefs how to create the most mouthwatering, tantalizing meals that we provide to you on board. What you're looking at here is something called Shop with Chef. We're currently not offering it at the very moment because of COVID, but we always have offered this and will be doing so in the future, where we invite free of charge about 26 guests to go with the chefs when we also have to replenish our ships and go into the little markets and the little villages and the little towns and choose food and do taste tests and then decide what we want to bring back to the ship to create these wonderful and most delicious mouth-watering meals that you see here. We also have an open bridge policy. There are no restrictions. You're not going to find yellow tape or red ropes not allowing you to go anywhere. We encourage you to go and have coffee with a captain in our bridge or at night while we're sailing under the stars. What a great experience. All our six ships have a water sports platform. Take advantage of that. Everything is done on a first come first serve basis. But if you like to paddleboard or snorkel or ski or just relax on a flotation mattress, come and take advantage when we lower our water sports platform to have that wonderful experience. For us at Windstar, if you're looking for that Las Vegas style entertainment or Broadway theater style entertainment, that is not what we do on Windstar. It is low key, it is laid back, it is casual as I mentioned to you. So our involvement or our experience is more of a cultural experience where we very often will bring different cultural experiences on board, like dancing. If we go to Tahiti, we bring on people who will show you how to tie a pareo, a pareo or make a beautiful flower garland. We do cooking demonstrations. We do whiskey and wine pairings. We do different lectures. But of course, at night, you can go to one of our bars where we play fantastic music and you can listen to music and dance if you wish. So just a quick review of our beautiful fleet. This is our biggest ship, the Windsurf, 342 guests. And you might be looking and thinking, oh, that's exactly what I want to do. But I'm just looking at the ship and I don't see any balconies. You are correct. These sailing ships by design do not have any balconies. And you might say to Sean or to one of his team, one of his many team uh, on his team, you know, you've always booked me on a cruise and you know that I like a balcony. I encourage you to look at the itinerary and not forego a phenomenal experience because there isn't a balcony. Go anywhere on the deck, grab two deck chairs, let that be your balcony. If you're traveling with friends, grab four deck chairs, let that be your balcony. But don't not go on a phenomenal experience where you may not get to go and see these unique destinations that only Windstar can take you to. Why not look at getting a bigger suite or a bigger stateroom and you've got that extra room in your suite but again, don't not go on these wonderful experiences. Our two smaller sailing ships, the Windstar and the Wind Spirit Boat, but Spirit both accommodate 148 guests. Think about that. Your ratio of crew to guest is 1 to 1.5. 148 guests, 101 crew. Wow, this is truly like traveling on your own private yacht. 
I encourage you to look at our beautiful itineraries online and then go to your Expedia Cruises travel consultant and they can advise you of the special benefits and amenities that they can add to these bookings. The important thing to know is you might be saying, oh, this is the ship that I want to go on. And I see that Windstar goes to Alaska and goes to Iceland. You won't be able to do one of these ships to those destinations. These sailing ships are deployed to our warmer climates. If you want to go to those hardier destinations, you will be going on one of our newly refurbished star class ships, either the Star Breeze, the Star Pride or the Star Legend. These beautiful sister ships we purchased from another luxury cruise line called Seaborne Cruises, but we did something quite phenomenal. When we purchased them, they could accommodate 212 guests. During COVID, we took them into a shipyard in Palermo, Sicily. We did something quite remarkable. Besides refurbishing every washroom on board, the spa facility, the fitness facility, adding two new specialty restaurants, we split these ships in half and stretched them and added in a prefabricated section that you see here, which gave us an additional 50 suites for another 100 guests. And now that these beautiful ships are all put together and sailing out now, they can accommodate 312 guests. So we have lengthened these ships, we haven't widened them, and they're still able to go into the unique little ports that we always go to and that we're known for. The main dining room and fora, again, no making reservations. Our breakfast and lunches are served either inside or outside on our beautiful veranda cafe. But as I mentioned to you, this is a relaxed experience. If you say, well, you know, I want to relax. This is all about unregimented days. I don't want to stand up and serve myself. You don't have to. Sit and order a la carte from your table, from your server, and we will, pro we will provide the meal for you made a la minute. Because we're small, we don't have to prepare hundreds or even thousands of meals in advance. Order your meal, we create it for you, and we bring it to you. At nighttime, we convert our veranda cafe into one of our specialty dining restaurants. Here, we do ask that guests make a reservation, but we only because we want everyone to have a chance. There is no surcharge on Windstar. Our yacht club provides beautiful, unlimited specialty coffees, your lattes, your cappuccinos, your tea, your little sandwiches, bottled water, pop or soda, all complimentary. Here we have our specialty dining restaurant on our star class ships. It's called Quadro 44, a casual Spanish style, style, uh, style restaurant, and also our star grill by Stephen Raitland, where we've taken, it's a traditional barbecue and world barbecue, and we've added a modern twist to it, and you eat under the stars. Those are our two added specialty restaurants to Candles. Let me tell you what is and isn't included on Windstar. You've heard me mention all the restaurants, even if you go to a specialty dining restaurant. All the alcoholic beverages are not included. So we do have two, two beverage packages, either wine and beer or all inclusive with all the hard liquor. I encourage you to speak to your Expedia Cruises travel consultant and they will advise you in advance to book it because it's going to make it like an all inclusive for you. Alternatively, you can decide you want everything included, including the beverage package, the Wi-Fi package, and the gratuity. So for $79 per person per day, added onto your cruise-only fare, that is what we're going to give you. And everything, you won't have to think about a thing, that'll all be included for you. If you do decide to go onto our website and look at the different pricing, you will notice that there is a cruise-only fare, and currently it is still priced in US dollars. What we do is we take the number of days, we multiply that by $79, and that amount we add to the cruise only fare to give you the all inclusive fare. So you can decide do you want cruise only or do you want all inclusive? And we do allow you to split it between the couples. So if somebody wants cruise only and somebody wants the all inclusive package, we will allow you to do that. You can't share the all inclusive package, you can't share the beverage package. But if somebody doesn't drink and if somebody doesn't worry about the Wi-Fi, we will let them purchase cruise only. So you might be wondering, now I'm excited, who is the typical Windstar guest? We only restrict children under the age of eight from sailing with us. So you will not find young families with young children, but you might find a young couple that has said to their parents or their in-laws, you look after the grandchildren, we're going on Windstar. For us, our guests are those guests who want an authentic experience in these unique amazing places that we go to, again, in a casual, very unpretentious style, and people who want to travel with like-minded people. This is our guest, and these are our guests that we can't wait to share our wonderful experiences with. 
And you might be wondering, well, they've got six small ships, where could they possibly go? Unfortunately, and in the interest of time, I can't go through every destination. So I encourage you to ask Expedia for one of our beautiful new brochures or go onto our website and see some of the amazing places that we go to. Some that I'd like to highlight for you, but again, we go to many, many more are some of the most popular destinations that we do go to. We have an all year round program in Tahiti and I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit more detail coming up. We do Greece. Greece for us is one of our most popular destinations. We add in many instances going to Turkey. When we go to Istanbul, we go to Ephesus, where we do a beautiful destination discovery event, where we have dinner in the Celsus Library in Ephesus, Turkey. Alaska, what a wonderful experience. You heard me make mention of the fact we lower our water sports platform and launch our two-person kayak and our six-person Zodiac ex expeditions right off the back of the ship. Iceland, an expensive destination. Look at the expensive destinations that you would do by land. Come on, Windstar, unpack once, have those most amazing James Beard Foundation-inspired meals and see the entire country. We do Reykjavik to Reykjavik. What a wonderful experience. Reese, I mentioned to you as well, but I'd like you to see this picture on the, uh, on the bottom where we're going through the Corinth Canal. I've recently done that. Only small ships like Windstar are able to do that. So I encourage you to look at our destinations and the unique ports of call that we go to. Italy and the Dalmatian coast, going to Croatia, doing the Adriatic Sea and the Dalmatian coast, Costa Rica and the Panama Canal, the Caribbean, don't not think of the Caribbean because Windstar's Caribbean is not the usual Caribbean that you may have been to. We go to places like Virgin Gorda, Jos van Dijk, Little Bay Montserrat, Bequia, all unusual ports that again, only a small ship can get into. Look at our European destinations, absolutely phenomenal. We do Portugal, we do Spain, we do Morocco. I encourage you to have a look. We've also now included, which is new for us, Australia and New Zealand. We also have some phenomenal itineraries in Asia, doing Japan, doing Borneo, doing the Philippines. How exciting, but doing it differently. And new for the end of 2023, starting uh, going into 2024, we are introducing Arabia and the Red Sea. So I've got a few little examples to show you, brand, brand new. Ask your, your, your advisor at Expedia Cruises to investigate this, to make some inquiries and to start booking for you. We've got a beautiful brand new itinerary called Sparkling Sands and Cities of the Persian Gulf. It's 10 days. Um, here is the itinerary, just at a quick, quick glance for you. Oman, United Arab Emirates, we do Qatar, Bahrain. So I really encourage you to look at these new and exciting itineraries, just to give you a little bit of a taste as to what we're gonna do new and exciting places. How wonderful, again, to do that on a cruise where you sit back, relax, and we're taking you to all these exciting places. I also wanna talk about Tahiti because we have an all year round program there. Very exotic destination going to French. <music> Tahiti. What better way to explore a nation of islands than by yacht? A Windstar yacht. Sail into small bays big ships can't reach. Explore beaches on uninhabited motus. There is nothing between you and the real Tahiti. Paddle, swim, or snorkel right from a yacht built specifically for Tahiti on a line that was voted the world's best small ship cruise line. Hop ashore to the enchanted landscape of Morea. Riotea's lush forests and black pearl farm. Play in the bathtub warm lagoons surrounding Bora Bora's exotic peaks. Let Windstar take you into these unique island paradises with overnight stays at most. Thoughtfully designed staterooms, exquisite yet relaxed dining experiences, unforgettable private events, and a crew that never stop finding ways to make you feel like you're on your own private yacht. Make this the ultimate way to experience Polynesia. 
Just an eight-hour flight from LAX to Papiete, or nine and a half from Sydney. Windstar is here year-round. Choose from seven, 10, or 11-day itineraries with plenty of options to extend your stay on shore. See and experience the most of Tahiti on the world's best small ship cruise line. Well, I hope I've got some mouths watering right now with this beautiful experience. So again, these wonderful flower garlands that we, we get you to experience. We also do a 10 or 11 day itinerary where we include not only the society islands, but we also take you over to the Tuamotu Islands. And just a quick glance at some of the beautiful ports and clear waters. You look as if you're diving into a swimming pool with what you can experience when you do your underwater expeditions and excursions and the beautiful black pearls, of course, that you can buy in Tahiti and all the beautiful surroundings islands. Our star collector voyages are anything longer than 13 days and why I want to make significant reference to this is because we provide you with free daily laundry. We have an 85 day itinerary, a 48 day itinerary, a 26 day itinerary, two seven day itineraries that you do back to back for 14 days. What a wonderful experience. You're spending the airfare. Why not extend your stay? And again, you might be wondering, well, I can't take all that baggage with me. You don't have to. Take a normal size suitcase, unpack once, and we provide you with daily laundry. I want to encourage you in closing to go onto our website, windstarcruises.com. Click on specials and here you will find whatever it is that we're advertising, whether it's weekly, whether it's a one week special. But what we do every Thursday is we come up with something called seven for seven. Every Thursday, we put seven cruises on sale for seven days. It runs for Wednesday night. And the following Thursday, we have another new seven sales, sailings that we put on sale. I encourage you to see what destination you want to go to and get somebody at Expedia to book this for you because they can add on their special perks and promotions for you. If you're traveling on your own, you probably know by now, most of the cruise lines charge 100% single supplement. Windstar usually charges 75%, but we have a long, long list of, of itineraries and sailings where we only charge a 20% single supplement. Please reach out to your Expedia Cruises travel consultant who will help you with this and get you on the cruise of your dreams. You heard me make mention of the free laundry for 13 days or longer on any itinerary. And with that, everybody, I thank you so much for your time. So many experiences, so many UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It's not just sun, sand, and sea. And I thank you, Sean, for your time and giving me this opportunity. But in closing, I do want to say that no matter which ship anybody chooses to sail on or which itinerary, we're going to give you that 180 degrees from ordinary experience. Thank you for your time. In addition, because we've got you here, any new booking made through Expedia Travel between the 1st to the 31st of October, you will receive an additional 50 US dollars per person shipboard credit. And that is in combination or in addition to any special offer or any special promotion that you have. So make sure you book through one of Sean's many, many offices and, and reach out to one of his travel advisors. We can't wait to welcome you on board. We've been chomping at the bit to welcome guests on board. Looking forward to sharing our experiences with you. Thank you all for your time. And thank you again, Sean. Andrea, that was amazing. That is a lot of those uh, destinations are down on my bucket list. Some of them no. I've, 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 I've gone to uh, before and your brand is just so, so special and so unique. It needs to be down on your bucket list. We would love to give you a hand. We want to help you create memories, fulfill dreams. That's what my whole team is dedicated to. So thank you very much for spending some time with us. Andrea, pleasure talking to you as always. And uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you very much.